Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the international community. I have a dream. I dream of Thailand being a prosperous and peaceful country. I dream of Thailand being a true democratic society. I dream of Thailand being the kingdom of brotherly love, where all loyal subjects care and share for each other. My dream has been shattered when Thaksin Chinawat and his clans came into the business and political scenes in Thailand. Thaksin used his wealth, buying his way into politics, and finally took over the country under the pretense of democratic voting, when in truth it was vote buying. The rig vote buying is done in plain sight. Indirect vote buying has been done through various expensive populist schemes. The most obvious and destructive one being the rice buying scheme, which resulted in financial disaster, creating great sufferings among Thai rice farmers nationwide today. The crook rice schemes affects the livelihood of farmers all over the country. It threatens to destroy the whole culture of agriculture in Thailand but it has created massive wealth among Thaksin, Ying Lak's collaborators and cronies overnight. Regardless of suffering of farmers, the Ying Lak government continues to hold on to power. You can clap and whistle when I pause, you know, if you don't understand my <laughs> English. I will not translate in Thai. Sorry about that. <laughs> this is meant I mean, for the Thai crowd, this is meant for the international communities and medias in Thailand and around the world. The present Ying Lak government continues to hang on to power disregarding the constitutional court's decision against them. The Pua Thai Party, which runs the government, came out defying the constitutional court decision. This, under the normal circumstances, under the normal democratic society, when respectable politicians have ethical code of conduct, should be more than enough reason for Ying Lak government to resign and return to power, and return the power to the people. There are numerous other instances which could have made Ying Lak government resign and return the power to the people. When they were caught red-handed trying to sneak in the infamous amnesty bill aiming to set the Prime Minister Big Brother free of all criminal penalties and offenses, that was when Ying Lak should have resigned if she had any democratic sense of public trust and responsibility. Right. When the people began the mass rally in protest against the Ying Lak Thaksin government demanding resignation, it was the true voice of the people that the government should listen to, but they did not. When the voice of the people against the government became so strong, numbering between 5 to 10 million and more, this was when Ying Lak government should have resigned if she had any democratic sense of public trust and responsibility. And she did not resign. The people has formed a formal organization called the People Democratic Reform Committee or the PDRC calling for not only the resignation of the Prime Minister Ying Lak and her government, but the people demand a comprehensive reform of the country's democratic infrastructure. In the fourth month of peaceful protests, both in Bangkok and in provinces around the country, the people are now demanding a complete overhaul 
of democracy in Thailand. And I wholeheartedly support the people. By the term, the people, I shall from now on call by its original name, Muon Maha Prachachon, or the great mass of the people of Thailand. Yes, we strongly condemn the present corrupted Ying Lak Thaksin government and the whole systematic corruption destroying Thailand under the name of Thaksin regime. I use the term Ying Lak Thaksin government because Sister Ying Lak is running the government in Bangkok by daily commands from Brother Thaksin, who is abroad. Now you're getting used to my English, right? Thaksin commands Sister Ying Lak from Dubai, from Hong Kong, from Singapore, and recently from Chatrim Hotel in Yangon. Thaksin openly admitted that Ying Lak is his clone. She is not the real Prime Minister of Thailand. She is not even a true person. As a clone, Ying Lak is merely living and breathing Thaksin's orders. I am, I am a shame of my country for having such a prime minister like Ying Lak, who has taken Thailand into the world-class international embarrassment. Kun Ying Lak should be ashamed of herself and should have resigned the first time she heard Thaksin said that she was his clone. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is not democracy. This is crazy. After finishing my education from the University of Delhi and the University of Pennsylvania, I taught political science and international relations at Chulalongkorn University for 14 years. I later joined the media profession at television news reporter and presenter. Representing my province of Supanburi, I was elected to draft the 1997 People's Constitution. I was directly elected senator from Supanburi in the year 2000. I was also appointed member of the National Legislative Assembly in 2007. I know my democracy. Thank you. I had high hope that my dream of a real democracy in Thailand will someday be a reality. My dream, my dream has been broken by the taking over of the country by the Thaksin regime. The Thaksin regime buys votes, by self-serving civil servants, buys power-seeking local governments, buys members of the parliament and their votes to enable the passing of the laws benefiting Thaksin and his clan's personal wealth. Thaksin regime steals the wealth of the nation in broad living daylights. The Thaksin regime buys the media as well, simply by taking over as big shareholder, or by offering big advertising budget to newspapers and television. As a government in power, the Thaksin regime dictates state media, both in propaganda content and in making appointments of all key positions in the state control media. Top positions in the Public Relations Department and the Mass Communication Organization of Thailand has to be approved by Kun Thaksin in Dubai. 
Hun Thak Sin at one time even managed to be on the cover of Time magazine for the edition reaching the Thai readers while the rest of the world got a different versions reading different cover stories. Illegal and systematic corruption was practiced, being practiced, and will be practiced by the Thaksin regimes in the future if the Muon Mahar Prachachon cannot stop the Thaksin regime. That is why we are here today. And that is why we have been here for the past four months. The Muon Maha Prachachon have been staging his mass protests, going through heat and cold, hunger and fear. And the people will continue to be here for as long as needed to bring down the Yingluck government and the Thaksin regime. Thanks to the people, uh, thanks to the People's Democratic Reform Committee, who is considerate enough to provide us enough food and water, and a few rare relaxing moments in between. This is a superb organization I have never seen anywhere else but here in Thailand. Also, thanks to the generosity of donors, particularly the people of Bangkok, who not only donate generously to Kamnan Sutep for the cause of the reform of democracy in Thailand, the people of Bangkok also happily allow us to occupy Bangkok, their loving home. The citizens of Bangkok wholeheartedly support the cause to reform democracy in Thailand and always come out and join the Muon Maha Prachachon in full force, days and nights. I hope that Kun Ying Lak will understand how powerful the people power truly is. If, if Kun Ying Lak cannot understand this, I am sure the international community will understand and tell the world about what the people of Thailand is demanding right now. The Muon Maha Prachachon do not demand a non-democratic society. The campaign against the general elections on February 2nd was not against democracy. The people, the people demand nothing less than a full democracy. This is when the Muon Maha Prachachon's demand and my dream converges. We are here demanding a full democracy, fully functioning under a truly democratic constitution. But this cannot be done unless we bring down the Ying Lak Thaksin government and completely dismantle the Thaksin regime. I, I demand a full democracy, and I demand Kun Ying Lak to resign immediately and return the power to the people. I demand nothing less than a full democracy. According to the Democracy Index of 2012, recently published by the Economist Intelligence Unit, Thailand is a flawed democracy not a full democracy. We rank 58 among 167 countries in the world. Our system of government is inferior to South Korea, Japan, South Africa, Taiwan, India, Timor-Leste, and Indonesia. We do badly in all categories. The electoral process and pluralism functioning of government, political participation, political culture, civil liberties, we are doing 